Welcome to Learn Yourself. Think, discuss, and write. First question: Which is the longest side in triangle PQR, right angled at P? So we have to make this right angle, and we have to denote it with P because they have specifically said that it is right angled at P. Now it has to be PQR. So P, Q, and R. Anti-clockwise, I have given the names, and it is PQR. we can also give the name like pqr like this and which is going to be clockwise only thing we have to make sure that it should be right angled at p now next which is the longest side in triangle pqr so whenever the triangle is right angled triangle the hypotenuse side will be the longest side for that triangle our next question which is the longest side in triangle abc so let us denote that a b and c and right angled at b so our b should be at right angle its measure should be 90 degree so abc now which will be the longest side so here ac will be the longest side for this triangle abc third question which is the longest side of right angle so any right angle triangle if we are taking which will be the longest side so again the answer will remain same that this hypotenuse side will be the longest side for any right angle triangle our next question is the diagonal of a rectangle produced by itself the same area as produced by its length and breadth this is bodhayan theorem compare it with the pythagoras property so let us first understand the bodhayan theorem and it is with respect to rectangle so here this is our rectangle that a b c and d if we are denoting this with length and breadth then let us have here a will be the breadth b will be the length and here e will be the length of diagonal ac ac is diagonal here now let us understand the statement for bodhayan theorem the diagonal of a rectangle produced by itself the same area as produced by its length and breadth so from the bodhayan theorem we can write here that e square equals to a square plus b square now the same thing we can see here in pythagoras theorem also if our right angle triangle is abc in that we know that this is a this length is b and then e will be the hypotenuse then we know that according to pythagoras theorem e square equals to a square plus b square so here we can see that bodhayan theorem and pythagoras theorems are same but the bodhayan theorem is with respect to rectangle whereas pythagoras theorem is with respect to right angle triangle So thank you for watching and learning with us if you have any doubt please comment down below i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe learn yourself